All right, so from here to the point here, all the way down to that white target right there is a thousand yards. I can back up about another hundred yards from there. And then from here, all the way to the other side of that berm there, ends up another hundred yards. So we'll do 1100 yards from here on this point. And then once we're successful with delivering the rounds or the, the bullet to this target here at 1100 yards, we'll move it to another hundred yards back. To get 1200 yards to shoot the 223. All right, set them up. Now set up. We're out here at the Las Vegas desert, and it's a perfect condition right now to go out shooting and trying to uh, send a rounds down range real quick before somebody else shows up. So, anyway, just to be clear, this is not a road. Well, actually the road is right behind me here but uh, long range shooters have been using this area here to do long range shooting so <clears throat> the target on the berm right there is actually at 1100 yards so I'm gonna go zero my rifle real quick and send some rounds down range and after we're successful with that we'll move it to the berm to the right to do 1200 yards so all right let's get this thing started There we go, We're getting out there. Looks like two mils to the left for the windage. a couple more clicks up. All right, I was holding the windage earlier, so I'm gonna go adjust. That was 2.2, 2.3. So, like a hit. That's 1100 yards. One more. It's 
left. At least. Left. Just below it. Just above it and left. That's the downside of shooting light bullets at long distance. And barely control the trajectory and the windage, especially for a newbie like me. Very tough to hit a target like that. Hit. So that's 1,100 yards with a Savage 12 PTC SS. All right, so here's our target. One, two, three, four. If you look at the way, well, I don't know, maybe because of the way it was angled, the way my target was angled down like that. So, but got one.